All right, in this tutorial, or tip, I guess you could say, it's more of a tip. I'm going to show you how you can convert rigid body bake into key frames. All right, first thing we need to do is actually bake something. Now, I have a, a simple rigid body scene set up a little building, and it's just going to have a really heavy sphere fall on it and crash. Now, I'm just going to come over here to the rigid body cache settings and I'm going to go ahead and click bake and it's only going to take a couple seconds because this is a very simple scene we'll click play and this is essentially what it is now the question is how do we convert this to keyframes alright all we need to do is basically select all the objects that are active rigid body objects which would include this sphere and every one of these planks. So I'm just going to press B for box select and just select everything. It doesn't, you could have the floor selected, but it really makes no difference. The floor is a passive object, so it really doesn't matter. You don't have to include that. But once you have all of it selected, you can come up here to object and then come down here to rigid body and then click bake to keyframes. Now you have a frame range right here and the frame range is obviously how many frames it's going to, the frame range of which it's going to basically convert the rigid body bake data into keyframes. I'm just going to leave it set to 250 because that's what the timeline is set to. <clears throat> now you have a frame step setting and this is for the most part you would just leave this set to one that way it would put a new keyframe in every single frame but if you had to set to two it would put a keyframe in every other frame and so on and so forth now there are a few case a few cases where you may want to change this to something other than one but for the most part just leave it set to one all right once you have that set up the way you want just click OK and it's going to take a few seconds and if you have a huge number of uh, rigid body objects or a huge animation it's going to take up to several minutes or even up to an hour it really depends on how complicated or how large your scene is and you can see here I have like 420 planks and one sphere and it took what 10 seconds something like that so not bad but essentially now you have all these key keyframe data down here and if I was to just select one object you could see the keyframe data for it you can see it basically didn't move up until frame uh, 26 and then it started to move and then the keyframe started to fill in and I can choose another object and you can see pretty much the same thing all of them pretty much started whenever the ball hit it at frame 26 but now basically all the movements of these uh, rigid body objects or these objects are just keyframed and they're not baked at anymore now there's only a few cases I've ever run across where I actually needed to do something like this and quite frankly I can't think of them at the moment but there are times where you may want to adjust the you know movement of an object that's been baked and then you can do it this way by converting it all to keyframes and then you can just re keyframe that object because there is no baked data anymore it's just all keyframe but anyway if you have any questions about how to go about this just let me know and uh, I will try to answer it in the comments also um, I've had a few people tell me that my the audio in my videos are kinda hard to hear and I'm assuming those people are using laptops now I'm trying to make my audio a little bit louder but I don't want to make it so loud that it's um, 
you know, sudden. You know what I mean? It's just loud all of a sudden. So let me know what people think about the audio in this, whether it's too loud, too quiet, or just about right. But anyway, I guess that's about it. Later, people.